a new law took effect on October 1st, requiring all backseat drivers to wear a seatbelt. But many were shocked to find out that there already wasn't a law in place. I feel like the fact that there was no seatbelt law before for people in the back seat is troubling, considering that so many people are saved by seatbelts and accidents. For Connecticut drivers that get pulled over for a different offense, law enforcement can issue a fine from $50 for drivers over 18 and $75 if the driver is under 18. This law acts as a secondary enforcement where an individual cannot be pulled over just for not wearing a back seat belt. Some students were content with knowing law enforcement would begin cracking down on the law. That keeps people safe. I mean, at the end of the day, that's what, the, that's what it's about is keeping people safe. Hamden Police Detective Sean Dolan says he isn't worried about compliance. Once people become more aware of it and accustomed to having all passengers buckle up, I think you'll see the compliance increase as time goes on. According to the governor's office, from 2017 to 2020, 12,589 Connecticut residents were injured from car crashes, plus another 61 fatalities. Dolan says law enforcement's goal is always to have passengers buckle up. You know, voluntary compliance is our primary goal. We want people to to put on their seatbelts no matter what the seat is. It's one step, takes you two seconds, and it could potentially save you in the case of an accident. Reporting for Q30 News, I'm Hannah Mursky.